Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for whenever it resonates. Right around the 6th, so the timing is fluid. So this could be anywhere in the next day to three days, four days, whatever. The timing is fluid. We're just going to see what comes up. What kind of message do I have to deliver today? Chariot reverse. So this is something coming to a stop. Emotional outburst. Scattered. Lack of direction. Emotions all over the place. So this is something. This could be an outburst. Okay. This is all of a sudden. Uh, somebody can't control themselves. And uh, boom. You know that kind of energy. You know. Something crazy. All of a sudden it's just like a stop freak out flip out can't master yeah this is can't master emotions it's just like uh hmm something's gonna happen disaster i mean that the the chariot reversed is you can't it's out of control somebody loses control they can't control themselves can't control Ooh, this is all about following your heart it's all about love it is it's all about happiness It's all very emotional. It's very emotional. Now this is this is uh, a flood of emotion. So yes, there's definitely going to be a flood of emotion here. Uh oh. Queen of Pentacles reverse. So yikes. Okay. So now this is jealousy. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse is somebody who is jealous. She is possessive. She is stubborn, very set in her ways, um, insecure. So we have somebody here that is insecure. She may be uh, retreating, taking something away. She's not giving anything. She, she's, she's pissed off, obviously. She's not going to give nothing. And she may not. Now, somebody may be getting upset because this is getting angry. It is. Somebody may be getting angry because you don't have anything to offer. So this could be anybody that doesn't, is a financial mess. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is a person, typically a feminine, but it doesn't have to be, that doesn't pay up. Okay, this person doesn't pay up, doesn't have the money, doesn't have the funds, doesn't, or doesn't want to. Very stubborn, okay? This person is stubborn, possessive holding on. I'm not going to give you anything. Are you kidding me? It's mine. Selfish, you know, or doesn't have it. Just doesn't have it. So we could have somebody that here that doesn't have it, but, and this is, this is an emotion. There's going to be an emotional outburst here. Okay. There is, and it may be over money. This, this could be, uh, this emotional outburst could be because of money. Okay. Hmm. Something about celebrating commitment. Oh, divided loyalty, but seeing the truth. Seeing the truth. Lies being exposed. There's exposure here. Maybe it's exposure to the virus. This is exposure. May have caused a loss of money. Um, can't go out. Can't do nothing. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, so, hmm, but this is happiness, and this is emotional, and these are both happiness, so this is a dead stop, though. Can't go anywhere. Can't go anywhere. Can't go anywhere. Oh, my God. So, yeah, we got somebody who that, you know, obviously, we can't go anywhere. Can't go anywhere. Um, lost some money as well, and th but this is... Two of Swords, There's this is being delayed, lies being exposed. There's some sort of anxiety, resentment. 
mental turmoil. We have somebody here that is very much struggling. They're struggling. They can't go anywhere. They're stuck. Um, ooh, 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 there's like a hostile situation here. Somebody's in a hostile situation at home because this is home. Yes, sir. There's a fight. There's going to be a fight. There is definitely going to be a fight. This, this, this is too much. There is, it is, def, there is definitely going to be an argument where somebody may decide to retreat. Like I said, you know, there's, there, this is like bloodshed. Mentally dysfunctional, all out war. Oh my god, there's financial loss here. Somebody had no contingency plan, now they can't pay up. Whoever they're dealing with is probably pissed off. Um, you don't, you don't, can't give me any money because you don't have any or something like that. Um, somebody is bitten off more than they can chew. There's definitely a financial loss. There's, there's a lack of balance. There's lack of organization. Somebody made a poor financial decision and now they are overwhelmed with the financial loss. So emotions are going to be running very, 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 very high at home. So yeah, the emotions are running very high at home. Um, there's definitely a financial loss and this financial loss is going to cause somebody to uh, uh, lose it. I think they're going to lose control. They're going to lose control. This is begging. Begging. Somebody may be begging. They may be begging for help, begging for forgiveness. Um, oh my God. This is, this is um, hard times. We have somebody here that is suffering some sort of financial burdens. And they may find themselves homeless. They may find themselves homeless because they didn't have any contingency plan. You know, and it's like, if you can't pay me, then you got to go. You know, so there's fighting over money here. There is definitely fighting over money. This may, somebody may need to go co contact the welfare office. This is like social welfare. They may need some sort of financial help. You know, so this is no money, need financial help. So somebody is, you know, need, in need of financial help. They may be going to the state and asking, you know, even for a place to live because of, it looks like there's something crazy that is going to happen. Um,. Struggling. We have somebody here that is very much struggling financially. Um, and they, now they may be being pushed away. It's causing a lot of hostilities at home. This is hostilities and this is home. A lot of mental turmoil, a lot of mental conflict, struggle, power struggles. Somebody here that is definitely struggling. They're getting to see who they're dealing with as well. It's pretty clear. Um... Uh oh, tower reverse. Now this is this is an extreme. There's definitely going to be a fight. There is definitely going to be a fight, and it comes out of the blue. It's sudden. It's all of a sudden. This false foundation, this false structure, this false sense of security is about to crumble, and it is going to crumble fast. It is definitely going to crumble. It hits like lightning. It's like all of a sudden. All of a sudden, uh, tornado strikes. So, I feel like we have a relationship that is not on the same page. There's relationship problems. It was based on false pretenses. It may have been based just on money, finances, you know, uh, financial stability. Oh my God, now it's about to crumble and it's going to crumble. It is, there's going to be a fight. There's going to be a fight and somebody may decide to, you know, I'm going to go someplace else. I'm going to go to the state for help. I'm going to, I'm going, they may go to their local church. I don't know. I don't know. It feels like this is abandoned the situation. I got to get out of here. Got to leave this. I got to get, I got to go get some help. So somebody may be neat in need of some help because their relationship really isn't stable. It's very insecure. It is very insecure. It's based on money. 
So I feel like there is some sort of exposure. Okay, lies are being exposed. This person's real personality or is, is is now being exposed. You can't hide. You can't hide behind um, false foundation, a false personality. You know, the truth always comes out. So the truth is about to come out about who you're dealing with. Okay, for somebody, it's like at home too. It's like there's been there's been a part, there's been partying, there's been celebrating. It was good, right? But I feel like this party is over. I really feel like the honeymoon is over. I do. Um, something is coming to a dead stop. You can't go anywhere now. You're confined. You're confined to that space, and there's going to be an uproar. There's going to be an outburst. It is definitely going to be a disruption. There's going to be a disruption where somebody gets very angry and. Shit starts flying, okay? It's like the tornado strikes. You never saw it coming. And you never saw it coming. Okay? Now, that, that tower reverse is like a permanent loss. It's extremes. It's extremes. So somebody um, gets extremely, I think, angry. Okay? Because this is angry. Can't master emotions. And this is a loss of balance. These are both falling down as well. So it's like the financial security, whatever. The, something is going down. It's going down, down, down. And this is like a financial ruin of some sort. Hmm. Ooh, and this guy wants to hold on. He wants something of value. He wants to hold on to his money. He wants to hold on to his security. This We may have... Um, um, well, this is a masculine uh, that gets very upset this is definitely upset he wants he wants to hold on to his stability he wants to hold on to his security he's very materialistic this guy is a hard worker though he's a hard worker he don't want to let it go he's looking for something of value you know he's a hard worker he's he's planned he's got money he's he doesn't want to lose it he wants to hold on to it so we do have a masculine here that is stable he's stable he's he's a hard worker he's worked hard he's worked hard and he's looking at somebody that is like begging it's like this is we i got a beggar down here this is a beggar so this person is insecure doesn't have anything to offer so this person doesn't have anything to offer that guy is holding on he's holding on to his money he's holding on to his stability he sees that he, this person needs help. So he may be, we do have this person, sees that this person needs, you know, he's looking down. He looks down at this person. Doesn't look like he's giving it. This guy looks selfish to me. I'm sorry. He does. He's, he's looking down at this person. We have a coward here. He loves the power and control that he has over this person. He loves it. He loves it. Um, he seeks out the vulnerable. Now, this is somebody that is vulnerable, somebody that is weak. So he loves it. He loves it. So we definitely have an egotistical bastard who is looking down at somebody who is weak and vulnerable. And it's almost like he's smug. He's very, very smug. But I feel like this egotistical bastard is going to experience um, some sort of major upheaval in his life. Okay? He is. He really is. He's selfish. Very egotistical. Yes, he is. He loves power and control. He sought out somebody who is weak. Now this person may be begging, maybe begging for, um, you know, love. Begging for emotional support. Crying. Feels like there's some sort. It's very emotional. This person's going to, we have somebody here that this that is going to flip out because this person is, all he cares about is money. Now, now this person is going to see who they're dealing with and they probably want to get out. So they may go to the state and ask for help. There's definitely a hostile situation here at home and it's very emotional. So I think there's going to be an outpouring of tears. I think there's, there's going to be some tears that are shed because things are about to get real. Things are about to get real really, really fast. And it happens all of a sudden. Somebody just flips out and somebody ends up saying goodbye. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. 
I'm leaving. I'm headed towards something more emotionally fulfilling. I'm, I'm looking for somebody who's going to love me and not my uh, money. The fact that I don't have any money. You know what I mean? Anyhow, I feel like there is somebody that is definitely saying goodbye. They are making a decision to uh, definitely retreat. This is this is this is too much. All is not as it seems. You are not who I thought I was. I thought that you loved me. What you? I, th I thought this was about love, and they come to find out that it wasn't about love. When you love somebody, you don't treat them like that. You don't belittle them. You don't make them feel bad. You don't beg them for money that they don't have. You support them. So I think there is some sort of uh, major disturbance, fight, situation that is about to, to happen that causes somebody to start seeking uh, refuge someplace else. Somebody is saying goodbye. They are. Because they're wanting happiness. They're looking for happiness. They're looking for love. And where they are at, it's very emotionally disappointing. They have been controlled by another person. That they thought was love. They thought it was love. But they're going to find out really fast that it was all about uh, financial help. This person only involved them for financial reasons. I think there's going to be a sudden departure. I do. I think there's going to be, and this is an uproar. This is like a shock. All of a sudden, something happens, and it's and it's crazy. It's crazy. Cops might even get called. Ah, oh, yeah. So. Be prepared to hear probably about an emotional outburst um, that causes somebody to uh, abandon this emotionally disappointing situation in search for somebody that's going to love them and not their uh, financial. What's the word for it? Their financial, what they can give financially. So yeah, I believe that there's there's going to be a massive fight. This is a fight. This is a, there is there's definitely going to be a fight, an argument. Somebody's going to get really 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 angry. This person is looking for money. He wants money. She doesn't have it, or vice versa, and the shit is about to fly. Good luck. Good luck.